a man in a train notices that he can count 21 telephone posts in one minute. If they are known to be 50 meters apart, then at a what speed is the train traveling? Now a very interesting one and also simple. So basically there is a man who is sitting inside a train. He notices that he can count 21 telephone posts in one minute. 21 telephone posts in one minute. They are known to be 50 meters apart. They are known to be 50 meters apart. So at what speed is the train traveling is the question. So basically all we have to find out is the distance between the two extreme poles. The distance traveled basically. Right? Distance traveled. Distance traveled by the man in one minute. See the duration is very clear. One minute. The time is one minute. Time is one minute in this whole case. All we have to find is the distance. How do you get the distance? Simple. How many poles did the man count? 24. 21. 21 posts. Right? 21 posts. 21 telephone posts in one minute. The distance will be 21 minus 1 into 50. Hearing it? 21 minus 1. 21 minus 1 into 50. Now 21 minus 1 is 20. 20 into 50 is 1000. So basically, the man has traveled 1000 meters in one minute. That's it. You know the distance and you know the time. Can you not find out the speed? He's asking us to find out the speed of the train. Speed of the train is nothing but speed of the man because the man is inside the train, right? Man is in the train. So speed of the train, speed of the train will be equal to what? Distance traveled by time taken. So 1000 meters by time taken is 60. 60 one minute is 60 seconds right so 1000 meters by 60 seconds meters per second you will get the speed in meters per second right 1000 by 60 or 100 by 6 or 50 by 3 meters per second now the whole question is how do we get this 1000 meters how do we what is the funda behind this 21 minus 1 into 50 i'm sure that's the question you have in mind see understand what happens here instead of 21 for the sake of easy understanding let's say there are five poles instead of 21 let's consider there are five poles right five telephonic posts so p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 the distance between they are known to be 50 meters apart means what the distance between two consecutive poles is 50 so from this point the distance is 50 from this point to this point the distance is 50 from this point to this point the distance is 50 from this point to this point the distance is 50 how many 50s did we get? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 50s. So 4 into 50. You know what is this 4? This 4 is actually nothing but this 5 poles minus 1. And this is how it works. So, so basically if you if you look at the whole length, 4 into 50 is 200 meters, right? If I look at the whole length, what happens is if there is a 200 meter length, if there is a 200 meter length, this is 0 meters. This is 200 meters. The poles will be at 50 meters at 100 meters at 150 meters and 200 meters generally i mean the the mental uh, idea understanding will be that if the poles are 50 meters apart for 200 meters i need only four poles no for 200 meters you'll need four poles or five poles not four poles what happens is in counting we'll count only the pole which is at 50th meter 100th meter 150th meter and 200 meter we forget or we fail to count the pole which was at zeroth meter see there is a pole at the zeroth meter also so this is that extra pole which is usually skipped in counting. So we have to remove that extra pole. So when you say there were 21 poles, you are subtracting this first pole. You will get all the multiples of 50. How many 50s were there? So 21 minus 1, 20, 20 50s were there. So 1000 meters distance has been covered. Like in this five poles, we have subtracted one, right? So four 50s were there, 50, 100, 150, 200. That's the whole idea. Similarly, let's say there are, uh, let's say there are seven poles. Seven poles is not seven into 50. It will be six into 50, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They are 50 meters apart each. 1, 2, 50. I mean the distance is 50 between consecutive poles. So what is the total distance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 into 50. 300 meters. But the number of poles are not 6. Number of poles are 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 poles are there. So this was the pole at 50th meter, this is the pole at 100th meter, this is the pole at 150th meter, 200 meter, 250th meter and 300 meter. So we count only these generally. I mean, but understand out of these total 7, 1 will be that pole which is at 0 meter. So that should not be counted. From these 21 poles, that should not be considered. I mean, we are removing that pole. Multiply by 50 to get total distance. 
right and then simplify so 50 by 3 meters per second if you requ if, if required i mean it depends on the options if required we can convert this to kilometers per hour you know how to convert meters per second to kilometers per hour right so do that and convert depends on the options but anyway the speed is 50 meters per second thousand meters in 60 seconds so 50 50 by 3 meters per second 